from the Channel 4 Studios in Boston. This is WBZ News at 5. Just ran. We put the clothes on and ran. That's it. We had no time. <laughs> running and racing to escape the flames. A couple caught in a marina fire say they had to move fast to get out alive. These are the flames that jumped from boat to boat. We know that three were destroyed, two sank. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. People living on those boats say they had just moments to get to safety. And this is new video tonight of the burned out boats as they were being towed away from that marina. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Charlestown now with the very latest. Beth? and some very harrowing stories of escape here. Owners knocking on other boats alert their neighbors. Some boat owners grabbing fire extinguishers trying to deal with the flames themselves. Now this very close community of boat owners is trying to determine how to move on, saying these aren't luxuries, these are their homes. We'll make it through. Will Leon and Kate Harrison standing before all that's left of their boat chickadee. So this is uh, the only home we have. Kate is seven months pregnant, and they've been preparing for the baby. But late last night, flames tore through Constitution Marina in Charlestown, engulfing their boat and three others, and they just made it out. It was close. There wasn't a lot of time to get out. Yeah, she called no. 911. Yeah. And probably within five minutes. Getting our boat ready for the baby, clearing out space, which there's not much space on a boat to begin with. Um, we had had a baby shower recently, so we lost all of our possessions. At least 50 firefighters battled the flames from every direction. The fuel fed fire reigniting as quickly as crews could put it down. And someone I heard scream, get off your boat. And I looked out the window and I saw flames on the boat across from me. John DeVries and his wife Regina were asleep on their boat step in time, one of two boats that sank. The 54 footer just visible on the surface, and their path out was to run past other burning boats. All the boats are covered with plastic, so it was spreading so quickly. Yeah. A frightening ordeal just having to run by here. In bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was scary. It was very scary. Now the difficult part will be trying to recover. And for this expecting young couple, the most difficult time of all. Soon we'll be thinking about uh, what we need to do to make a home for the baby. But thinking about that feels like overwhelming right now. And right now it's unclear just how the fire started. But given how quickly it spread here, it is fortunate everyone made it to safety. Reporting live from Charlestown, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. That is good news.